Hi kitty cats, today is October 11th, 2024. It's Friday and it can mean only one thing. It's time for your weekly dose of transgender joy. It's gonna be a hit, don't quit. All right, well anyway, piece of joy number one. In a survey of over 1,500 parents of transgender or non-binary children, more than 92% of them claim they are supportive of their child's gender identity. 92%? Like, even if some of the parents were just kind of playing along, I find this statistic extremely encouraging. I believe it implies when you know a transgender person, you understand we are normal human beings worthy of support. So I am joyful that the next generation of transgender people will have it easier than I did. I'll be waiting to welcome you all when you get here. Peace joy number two. Speaking of parents supporting their transgender children, Renee Johnson and her transgender daughter, Charlotte, opened a transgender-inclusive clothing shop in Victoria, Australia. The shop is called The Rainbow Rack, and customers can trade clothing or pay low prices for what they find. The intent is to lower the anxiety of newly out transgender people figuring out their sense of fashion. As Renee puts it, I think the country needs it. Yeah, I concur, Renee. I am joyful there are people who see the burden transgender people carry from social expectations and are willing to do something about it. So, piece of joy number three. It's October, right? We had a big load of firewood delivered this afternoon. That's part of why this video is so late and why I look a bit worse for wear. We spent about an hour and a half stacking close to two cords of wood, which is a lot. Now for the past couple of winters, when we run low on firewood inside, I've told my friends, hang on, I have to go get wood. It's a transgender thing, just let it wash over you. But I am joyful. This will be my first winter in which I cannot use that joke. And that is your weekly dose of transgender joy. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>